Hello, we are going to look at integrating 1099 miscellaneous data from zero into tax1099.com. To start, click Reports, then All Reports. From the Reports tab, select 1099 Report. Then select the year in which you would like to import. I'll select 2017. Once you have the year selected, you can create rules for filling out the 1099 miscellaneous form. This is where you'll select each account in the chart of accounts to map to a particular box on the 1099 miscellaneous form. To add a rule, click Add Rule and select the account and then select the box. Then click Save once you've completed all the mapping you would like to do. Zero shows me that I'm missing information that is necessary to file 1099s to the IRS. I can update this information by clicking on the contact. Here I see I'm missing an address. I can add that address or any other missing information and then click Save to continue. I'm going to leave this contact incomplete to show you how Tax 1099 handles missing information. Once I've created my rules and see that I have all my contacts in which I need to issue a 1099, I'll select Use eFile Services, then select Tax 1099. I'm getting a warning from Zero, letting me know that I'm missing information. I will click Yes to proceed. If you're not already a user of Tax 1099, you'll be asked to create an account. If you are an existing user, you can click on Login then enter your username and password. Once you've logged in to Tax 1099, you'll click Zero Connect and select the year in which you want to import. Since I have more than one organization, I will select the organization I would like to import. Then allow access. Here is the information I just imported from Zero. As you see, Greenfield is denoted with a red dot, letting me know that information is missing. I'll select Greenfield to see what information I need to correct. We're missing a state. I will add the state and then click Update. You can see that I have multiple records for two of the contacts. This is because I have multiple boxes. I can edit these boxes or amounts by selecting Edit. Once I have reviewed all of my data, I can either select individual records to import, I can select the entire company, or I can select all records as uh, I have imported. Once I've selected all of the contacts I would like to import, I'll hit Next. and you can see that I've successfully uploaded three records and these are the exact same records that you could see from zero. I'll select OK and then I will be able to select each one of them to e-file. If I want to mail through Tax 1099's USPS mailing service I can select the top box or select them individually to do so. If I have email addresses I can select to email for no extra charge. TinMatch allows users to match the tax identification number to the name to ensure that the name for the contact is correct. State filing allows you to comply with any state filing requirements. If there is a state filing requirement for the state in which your contact worked, you can select state filing and tax 1099 will file with that particular state. If you still need to edit information you can select edit. If you would like to view the copy of the 1099 before it is e-filed you can simply select view. And then view the copy as it is going to be presented to the recipient. Once I've selected all of the items that I would like to do, I can hit Next, then I will be 
presented with a payment screen.